Hello guys, this is Trisha with another motivational moment. Um, I want to talk about my family today. Growing up with um, a big family, um, I have four brothers and one sister. We always was a very, very close family. And um, growing up with a big family is always something nice that you want. I mean, that you always want. And I always wanted a big family, somebody that I can um, look up to, especially somebody older than me. Uh, my brothers, we always was really close. We always, they always looked after me. They made sure that me and my sister was, you know, was um, always protected. They always protected us, made sure nothing happened to us. I feel like that um, being in a big family, it has its ups and downs, but it's also nice because if you don't have nobody else around to talk to, you always got your sisters and brothers. So. It always been fun growing up with my sisters and brothers. Um, it seems like when you get older from being around your sisters and brothers, they seem it doesn't you don't seem as close as you used to. But um, I don't think it 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 have, has to be with uh, the person doesn't like you or the person just they just go their separate ways. Maybe some of them got married, some of them just uh, just they just did their own thing. I always thought um, when I was growing up and when I left when I left the house and got married, I thought maybe that um, um, I was gonna always be close to my family, but I wasn't always close to my sisters and brothers once we moved. Um, everybody went their own way and we just stopped talking to each other. We didn't talk as much as we should have. We just talked every blue moon. And I didn't really like that because I was I grew up with a close family, so being that they went their separate ways and we didn't talk as much, it kind of bothered me. But sometimes you have to learn to live with stuff like that, even though you think maybe, well, maybe they don't like me or maybe they don't want to talk. And it's not always that. It's just, sometimes it's just that they're, they they grown and they got their own families. And, you know, it's not that they don't like you or they don't want to be bothered. It's just that they're busy with their own life. But I've always been, been sensitive when it comes to that about family you know, I want always wanted them close to me. I always wanted to be, you know, just close to my family. Always, I want. I didn't want to live too far from them. I just wanted to keep in touch all the time. But as I got older, I seemed that it seemed like the family just went their own way, and we we stopped. We didn't talk as much. We just didn't. I mean, we text. And one thing about me and texting, I really don't like texting that much. My family, I rather hear my family's voice. I mean, you never know what's going on in that person's life, so. It's best to pick up the phone and talk to them other than text them all the time. Texting is okay sometimes if you want to do it sometime, but not all the time. Sometimes you want to hear your family's voice. You want to hear your sister's voice. You want to hear your brother's voice. So you just want to hear their voice sometimes and let them know that, you know, you're, they sound good. Maybe they're okay. You don't want to hear the texting all the time. Oh, man, you know, are they okay? You know, you can't get nothing out of a text. You don't know if a person okay or they're not. Yeah, but having a big family is, is beautiful. It's beautiful. As long as you, when you get older, you stick together and you don't and you don't stray. And I know family have their own life to live, but always remember when you when you stray away from your family, that hurts them. You want to stay close to them and make sure everything is okay. Because none of us are getting younger, we're getting older. So by us getting older, we have to learn to keep in touch more. And, you know stay focused and figure out what's going on with the next person so I try I'm not bad I'm not good at keeping up with my family like I should I, now I talk my mother we talk every day that's just like my best friend we talk every day my father he's not alive so uh, one of my brothers we talk all the time but um, my other brothers he like to text and stuff I'm not into the texting all the time but you know I just you know and my other brother we don't talk very often and my other brother He's, um, we're, we're not on really good speaking terms right now. We used to be, me and him used to be the closest. So, you know, yeah, you know, things happen. You know, God brings us, you back close together. So, you know, we have to pray about that situation. That God will bring us back more closer together. Now, me and my sister, we're close. We talk and, you know, we try to get that sisterly bond. That's my older sister. And, you know, I just, I want to talk to her. I want to be able to tell her things that's going on in my life. Uh, just, you know, or her, she tell me what's going on in her life. She's married now. I was married 11 years. My husband died last year, August 19th, this coming up. 
He died of the disease called ALS. I don't know if you guys heard of that. It's Lou Gehrig's disease. It's like paralyze your muscles. I mean, you can't speak anymore. Your arms and your legs you can't walk anymore. And then you use the ability to talk and your voice, like, it just goes. So, yeah, he lost all that stuff. He started day by day as something else happened to him. He lost his um, way of ability to talk. Then he couldn't eat anymore. He couldn't swallow. So everything started happening to him. You know, that man was the love of my life. He was there for me. He was my best friend. And losing him was like losing a big part of my life, you know, because um, he was like somebody that I can talk to about anything. Somebody that I can, you know, if I'm going through a problem, I can talk to him about it. But when he got sick at the end, it was really, really sad. I couldn't really take it. And I, you know, I talked to my sister and my other, my family, other family members are around about it. And they was like, just pray about it. You know, that's why it's good to have somebody to talk to when t things like that's going on, especially family. That's why I say having a big family means a lot, especially when you can go back and talk to them about situations that's going on in your life. So yeah, I, you know, I love it. I like the family thing and I like having a big family. Me, I have three kids, like I told you before, and I think in my first vlog, I have three kids, beautiful kids. I mean, kids are, you know, they're my world. So, you know, I just want to continue. I want them to be close like my family was. I don't want them to grow apart or, you know, just just, just be close. I want them to be real close and talk to each other and stay focused and just, just do the right thing. So, yeah, y'all. So, um, I'm going to close this for now. And I would like for you to like and subscribe and comment. Um, if anything that you want to hear from me or talk to me about, just let me know. I'm here every day, you know, so you have a good day and God bless.